Hey everybody, this is Nick here with Lift with Christ here on YouTube, where our faith is unshakable and our relationship with God is unbreakable. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about when God says, now is your moment. When you're a bodybuilder and you're preparing to step on stage for a big show, what you're going to do is you're going to properly prepare your body and your physique to look as best as possible. You might go through periods of fasting to make sure you look as chiseled as possible. You're going to make sure your diet is on point and you're not going to go a calorie over or a calorie under to make sure your body fat looks as low and as possibly can. When you're in the weight room, you're going to attack each rep with the rage of a million pit bulls. You're going to make sure your muscles are as sore as possible so you force them to grow into the physique that you want when you step on stage. Being a bodybuilder is actually a lot like being a Christian. See, when you diet, it's a lot like prayer. Without prayer, there is no relationship with God. Just like when your diet's not on point, your body fat isn't gonna lower and get the body fat as low as you'd like to step on stage. Reading your Bible is your knowledge, a lot like when you prep. When you prep, you need to obtain knowledge in order to apply it to your diet and apply it to your workouts so you can properly prepare your physique to look as best as possible when you step on stage. Going to church is a lot like stepping into the weight room. When you step into the weight room, you want to attack each rep with maximum energy and maximum effort, just like when you're at your church service. When you're at your church service, you need to be locked in. You need to be laser focused on your pastor so you can apply the wisdom and the knowledge that your pastor is gifting you and apply it into your weekly life. Galatians chapter 6 verse 9 states, And let us not be weary in well-doing, for a due season we shall reap if we faint not. God wants all of us to reap the rewards for our hard work. Just like when you're a bodybuilder that's getting ready to step on stage. If you're a day earlier than your show, or you're a week earlier than your show, you may not be fully ready to reap the rewards. Because just like in bodybuilding, God wants you to get first place. God wants to make sure that you win the most amount of money possible. God wants to make sure that you not only win your bodybuilding show, but God wants you to take a trip to Disney World afterwards and wants to gift you with an abundance of cheat meals for all the hard work you put in the weight room and how much your flesh suffered when you're maintaining a strict diet. When God gives you this blessing and when God tells you now is your moment, unfortunately, sometimes a lot of people will judge us. People will get jealous and they'll say, he's not the right person. Someone else should have been picked. That's not the right guy for that job promotion. They shouldn't be in a relationship. He's not ready. She's not ready. And when we receive this blessing, you're going to hear a lot of voices. But in life, if you're not deaf, you will always hear what other people say about you. However, silence can never be misquoted. So whenever we hear these things and people are saying negative things about us and you hear what other people are saying, always choose to ignore it. Don't say a word to them and only focus on yourself and your relationship with God. Because if God anoints you and God wants to give you this blessing, he did it for a reason. And you should never second guess or worry about what people think and only worry about what God thinks. In Proverbs chapter 8, verses 32 through 35 state, Now therefore hearken unto me, O you children, for blessed are they that keep my ways. Hear instruction and be wise, and refuse it not. Blessed is the man that heareth me, watching daily at my gates, waiting at the posts of my doors. For whoso findeth me, findeth life, and shall obtain favor of the Lord. God wants to reward those who are loyal to him. Just like when you put in all that work in the weight room and make sure your diet is on point, God wants to make sure you reap the full amount of rewards for the work that you've been putting in. When you receive these rewards and you receive this blessing, God wants to make sure that you're gifted abundantly. God wants you to win that bodybuilding competition, take that trip to Disney World, eat a bunch of cheat meals, and get first place and fully enjoy the moment. However, when God tells you that now is your moment, now is your time, here's the blessing. Are you someone that's just going to use this blessing to glorify themselves and be selfish? Or 
Are you someone that's going to use these blessings and these gifts that God gave you to glorify him and bring glory to his name, as well as bringing his children closer to him? What I'm going to do now is end this video in a prayer. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Lord God, thank you for gifting me this opportunity to speak here on YouTube. I ask that you be with us all whenever we get this moment, whether it's money, a relationship that we've been waiting months or years for, that job that we've been asking for that we thought was impossible for us to get, no matter what it is that that moment to us, I ask that you be with us all, God, to be patient and to trust your timing. May you be with us all to be loyal towards you. May you be with us all to practice prayer, to read our Bible and go to our church services and to keep seeking you. And may be with us all to remind us that when we are loyal to you, you will always gift those who are loyal to you abundantly. In your holy name I pray, amen. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. God bless everybody. Remember, in due season, God will always reward those who are loyal to him. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you like this video and would like to watch more of my videos. Like this video if you enjoyed watching it. And be sure to share this video if you feel the right person needs to watch this message. Take care, everybody. God bless. More videos to come soon.